हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू स्टिमुलस एकेडमी आई एम योर बायोलॉजी टीचर वी हैव सक्सेसफुली कंप्लीटेड फोर पार्ट्स ऑफ द चैप्टर दिस इज द फिफ्थ पार्ट ऑफ बॉडी फ्लूड्स एंड सर्कुलेशन यू कैन चेक द डिस्क्रिप्शन फॉर व्हाट ऑल वी हैव कंप्लीटेड नाउ द टुडेज टॉपिक इज ह्यूमन सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम लेट इज सी दिस ब्यूटिफुल पिक्चर गिवेन इन एन बुक it shows the main basic parts with labelings human circulatory system is also called as blood vascular system it consists of a muscular four chambered heart a network of closed branching blood vessels and blood the fluid which is circulated now let us begin with human heart when we talk about an organ inside the body we describe it in certain common headings like origin location position size and more let us see how it goes with heart so heart is mesodermal in origin this relates to the embryological development these three layers present in the embryo the ectoderm endoderm and mesoderm are responsible for the formation of whole body parts so every tissue organ organ system has an origin of ectoderm or endoderm or mesoderm when we talk about location normally it lies in thoracic cavity between the two lungs it is important to know one more thing here an anomaly called as situs inversus can happen where all the organs in the body are in opposite side then in normal person the right lung is in position of left lung and vice versa the liver is placed in left side rather than on right side in normal person and the heart lies on uh, right side and uh, all the emerging arteries and veins from the heart these also change their sides so if you observe closely all the sides are inverted therefore called as situs inversus one more anomaly called as dextrocardia can occur only heart fails to get in the left side and remains in the right side which is not the right position okay the right position of heart is left side the position at location normally it is slightly tilted to the left side so generally it is referred to as situated in left side uh, size is almost equal to the size of clenched fist hindi mein agar fist ko hum jaane to mutthi kehlata hai to ek mutthi ke barabar size hota hai lagbhag now let us come to the anatomy of heart it is covered by pericardium which is a double walled membranous bag and a fluid filled called as pericardial fluid is enclosed in the pericardium now you can see here the serous pericardium enclosing the pericardial fluid and the fibrous pericardium lying outermost so it is clear from here that pericardium is of two types serous pericardium and the outer fibrous pericardium talking about the chambers we know that humans have four chambered heart having two small atria and two relatively larger ventricles next we look at the different types of septum present inside the heart the septum present in between the two atrium is called as interatrial septum whereas in between two ventricles is called as interventricular septum and between the atrium and ventricle is called as atrioventricular septum we will see that atria drains the blood to ventricles so there should be an opening that connects the atria and the ventricles and these openings are guarded by the valves which prevent the backflow of blood so the function of valves is to prevent the backflow of blood on the right side tricuspid valve is present in the av septum 
एंड ऑन लेफ्ट साइड बाइकस्पिड वेल्व इज प्रेजेंट दीज वेल्व आर फॉर्म ऑफ मल्टीपल मस्क्यूलर फ्लैप्स और कस्प सच एज द नेम सजेस्ट ट्राई कस्पिड वेल्व इज फॉर्म ऑफ थ्री मस्क्यूलर फ्लैप्स वेयर एज बाइकस्पिड वेल्व इज फॉर्म ऑफ टू मस्क्यूलर फ्लैप्स कैन यू गेस वाई Why it would be that there are three muscular flaps in the right-sided tricuspid valve, and there are just two in the left-sided bicuspid valve? A probable explanation for this could be that the right side of heart receives or deoxygenated blood, which needs more strictness to be stopped as backflow. While somehow, if in left-sided of heart backflow occurs. the left sided of heart contains bicuspid valve two cusps so if in left side of heart uh, backflow occurs it would not be of greater problem because left side contains oxygenated blood when we talk about the openings of left and right ventricle obviously the blood is coming so it has to go somewhere left atrium and uh, left atrium also called as left auricle when it receives blood then it goes to left ventricle and then where we have to understand that left chambers contain the oxygenated blood so do you agree that it has to be supplied to whole of the body now aorta which is a very very big artery comes into role left ventricle drains the oxygenated blood into aorta let's see this the left auricle drains the blood into left ventricle and then left ventricle pumps the blood into aorta similarly the right atrium drains the blood to right ventricle and since the right chambers contain the deoxygenated blood the right ventricles pump the blood that towards lungs to perform oxygenation via the pulmonary artery the openings of le- uh, right and left ventricles into aorta and the pulmonary artery respectively are guarded by valves called as semilunar valves and you know where the tricuspid and bicuspid valves are present right on the av septum now let us begin with muscles of heart but before we move on any further kindly subscribe to our channel press the bell icon below and like the video we know that heart never stops if it does you know what happens we die so for this continuous strenuous exercise heart needs muscles which can handle this strenuous work of heart a specialized cardiac musculature called as the nodal tissue is distributed in the heart and the nodal tissue the nodal musculature has the ability to generate action potentials without any external stimulus that is it is auto excitable we will see the basics of how it functions clearly we can see sinoatrial node called as sa node then atrioventricular node called as av node and then bundle of his these are all patches of the nodal tissue so sa node that is sinoatrial node is a patch of this nodal tissue that is present in the right upper corner of right atrium right i suppose you can see that in the figure down below similarly another mass of this nodal tissue is present in the lower left corner of the right atrium close to the atrioventricular septum clear so sinoatrial node is present in the upper right corner of the right atrium and av node is present in the lower left corner of the right atrium only now a bundle of nodal fibers emerges from the av node called as av bundle and this can be seen clearly that it passes through av septa and then these bundles emerge on top of the interventricular septum and see 
this immediately divides into right and a left bundle now these branches give rise to minute fibers throughout the ventricular musculature throughout the ventricles of the respective sides and are called as purkinje fibers the nodal musculature is auto excitable we know the number of action potentials that could be generated in a minute vary at different parts of, of the nodal system we talk about sa node it can generate the maximum number of action potentials that is 70 to 75 per minute it is responsible for initiating and maintaining the rhythmic contractile activity of the heart do you agree that heart has rhythmic contractile activity yes so it is just because of this sa node that it initiates and maintains this rhythmic contractile activity so it is also called as pacemaker of the heart and our heart normally beats 70 to 75 times in a minute average taken as 72 beats per minute thank you have a nice day please share subscribe the channel and for more such videos you can stay connected